But my original question was like, so for if people want to leave America and like try to find those, leave America and go where? Back home. Let's be honest. Go back where? It's not cool back home. It's not. Just I mean, not, I, not, my country now is in the, the 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 economy now is in shambles. Like, but if if okay, so with if people are leaving, I do my part. Yeah, I'm an ambassador. So mm -hmm. when I go home and I'm filming and showing, I'm not gonna show the bad parts. I ain't gonna. So the yeah all the bad you're not parts gonna talk of, the slum you're not gonna show, show the trenches no I, I go to the trenches yeah. I'm filming trenches but I'm talking about the situation in the country yeah be Nigerians you know what I'm saying like now the the exchange rate is messed up mm. the um a lot of stuff not going well you know what I'm saying the economy is just not good in yeah. the whole the oil prices are, are too high um and imagine a country that produces oil we do produce the oil and we pay more money for Importing the oil, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. just stuff like that. But regardless, entertainment is one of the things that's made Africa look good. Yeah, we do not have the best leaders, that's a fact. Welcome back to Christa TV. The Afrobeast town known as Davido Adeleke wants black Americans against relocating to Africa. It is not cool back home. My correct people, them Afrobeast superstar Davido has shared his thoughts on the growing interest among African especially American Africans that are in America trying to relocate to Africa. So during this interview with the Big Homies House podcast, the video expressed skepticism, exciting the current challenges facing the continent, particularly in his hometown, which is home country known as Nigeria. That Nigeria is really a mess. It's really shameful. Things are not okay. And this was his response to the host, um, Big Homie Kodax, questions about African Americans seeking to return to the motherland, the video responded that leave America and go where? He elaborated on the economic difficulties and systematic um, issues affecting African countries. Speaking from experience as someone raised in Nigeria after being born in Atlanta, Georgia, the artist remarked, it is not cool back home. The economy now is in shambles. Do you understand? My correct people, then what David Doe said is nothing but the truth. This is the second artist coming on air to say something concerning the um, you know, shameful things, the economy um backsliding, the um downpour in the economy, especially in Nigeria. I love David Doe's um you know outpour of what is happening in the country at the moment. Um this guy known as Bonaboy said the same thing about a few months ago when he came out to say publicly how this country is, although he's he actually Actually, specialized on Biafran issue, talking about how Biafran should come into emancipation, and talking about how Nigeria become one in the first place, and regretting why Nigeria become one. If not, we wouldn't have been passing through what we are passing through now in the hands of being in one Nigeria. And we might correct people. Then this is what David O said um, during a live podcast with uh, with one of the. Um, broadcast people in America and David Doe's um, mode of response have you know drawn many Nigerians' attention and people are you know, applauding him for coming out to say nothing but the truth for not hiding um, the shameful thing that is happening in Nigeria for not hiding Nigerian economy for not hiding the bad things happening in the economy at the moment um, people clamoring to come back home before you think of coming back home first of all you think about how Nigeria is at the moment yes even me, I keep thinking about it that the way Nigeria is at the moment, even if you go back home with 80 million naira, looking at how costly things are, how are you gonna cope about how go, how you gonna cope with it? Not just that alone. Everybody wants to go home, you want to go back home, you want to you know eat that fresh food, you want to relax, feel at home. Um, during when people are doing festive, you know, you have to go out, you know, watch football, go to ceremonies, festivals, all kinds of things, you know. Um, you go to churches every day, every Sunday, you know, you know, you feel at home, you eat better meat, fresh meat, sweets. Um, smoked fish and other things, you know, you long for those things. But then again, you think about the crisis in the economy, you think about the rises in the economy, the, the money, the fluctuation in Naira, um, the costs of goods and services, you know, how things are in Nigeria. Again, the insecurity, you know, um, there is no security anymore in Nigeria. You know, when you think about all these things, your heart began to do somehow. And you, although you keep, you know, hustling, bubbling to hit your jackpot, um, probably you will might say, okay, let me go home, or maybe you stay wherever you want to stay, you know, to develop yourself. But then again, you think about the so-called president of the country, what's actually happening in this particular country? 
How is this president known as President Tinubu doing everything humanly possible to make Nigeria, you know, um, you know, come out from the shambles, um, you know, and nature they find themselves at the moment? But things are not working that way. This same man is one coming on board, coming on uh, yesterday, two days ago, saying that um, um, he's the best president so far that Nigeria have ever got. Um, that he's trying to sell markets um the country. Um, that he's doing his every best to make sure that Nigeria go far. Um, but everything is very costly. This and that, that and this. And I began to ask myself this question: Does this actually mean that this is what a president of a country should be saying? A country. Um, like Nigeria is now a borrowing country, is now a debtor country. Is I don't even understand. How do we get to this stage? Since you know that you're not capable of ruling and you know um, taking this country leadership, why did you in the first place come out to contest for election? It is your turn. Now is your turn. Make Nigeria a better country. You have turned Nigeria into a debtor country. And you're still looking for more way to borrow more money. And the worst part is that the money they are borrowing, I don't even know what they're using the money for. Why borrowing excessive trillions of Naira? What are you doing with it? I don't get it. So now, not just borrowing, borrowing trillions, we are now export, importing more than we should be importing. We are not like a dustbin country. Nigeria imports more than they should. No more exporting. When last did the Nigerian government export a single goods out from Nigeria? Have you asked yourself that kind of question? Why are things very high and hard as it is now in Nigeria? Nigeria now, a country that is not developed, you obstruct the way that money comes in and goes out of your country. We can only inject in Nigeria. We cannot eject. Do you know what it means? So why would Naira be doing the going down and down and down? For instance, I can send dollar to Nigeria, but I cannot even if I put money in my account, I can't read, I can't take it out from Nigeria. That is a mess. You give out, you don't you, you take you don't give out. It's quite unfortunate. It's like you know, when you get married to a woman, the woman has nothing to offer to you. It's only you as the man keep offering. Do you get it? That is the way the nature of Nigeria at the moment. Swallowing with that um, you know, excreting. When you see someone that just you keep eating, keep eating, keep eating, you don't excrete, you don't poo poo, you don't shit out what they're eating. At the end of the day, when the thing gets much, you know, your stomach got to bust. Anyway, my correct people, them. I don't even know exactly how to chip in, but I love what um this guy, Davido, said in this podcast. He made his points very few and uh, Concise, he goes straight to the point and said nothing but the truth. I love what this guy said in this particular podcast by not, you know, hindering or hiding the shameful nature we are in our in Nigeria economy at the moment. Yeah, but let not limit it. Let not say it to Africa. There are many quiet African countries that are good today. Nigeria is just washed out of other African countries. Yes, because other developing African countries are doing everything humanly possible to escape from underdeveloped. They want to escape from developing to a developed country. But Nigeria, instead of Nigeria to be working hard to you know to, to shift from that de- developing to developed, and that we keep going down and pour and pour and pour and pour. It's shameful. The shampoos in this economy is quite alarming. Honestly, the way Nigeria's system is going, I don't even know that if our leaders are even, if they have foresight. Well, I can't blame them because they're old cargoes. They don't have anything to do. They don't have future anymore. The only thing they think is how to feel themselves, how to stay strong, how to keep pushing, how to walk, and you have to um, be careful while walking so that you will not fall this and that because you're old. Do you get it? They think only about their grandchildren, how to secure money for them. Finish. They no longer have future. They keep saying that leader, um, youth are the leaders of tomorrow. Well, who are the leaders of today? Does it mean that grandpas, old cargoes like uh, Tinubu, Shetima, are the leaders of today? Tomorrow, no, they finish Nigerian youth to make them wake up. And when my correct people, they went to Nagar talk concerning this. I applaud the videos, respond, and feedback on air. Uh, 
during this um, podcast. I want you that listening to watching to tell us in the comment section your opinion regarding this particular interview you watched the video and is especially his feedback to the interviewer. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so. Turn on the notification button so that you get notified of all latest Nigerian news. Christy TV got you covered. I love you guys and stay tuned for more.